Hi, so I want to do my review of Frightland and Delaware. I'm um, doing my usual reviews of the haunted attractions that I do every year. And uh, we'll start with Frightland. That's the first one we went to. Um, so if you see me reading off something, it's because I wrote down notes. But, uh, so I've never been to Frightland. I've heard a lot about it. I've seen it on the Travel Channel. Um, but even on the Travel Channel, it didn't really impress me that much. Um, but I have wanted to try it out though. Um, so this year I decided to make a trip out of it and try it out. Um, to say I was impressed would be an understatement. This is probably one of my all time favorite places um, for haunts as of right now. Um, they have eight attractions for $40, which I think is a great deal. Um, if you live in the area, you don't have to do them all in one night. You can come back because it is quite lengthy to get through. I got there at about 9.30 p.m. and didn't get out of there until 1.30. Um, so it is quite lengthy and it wasn't even that busy the, the night we went. It was it was busy, but it wasn't crazy or anything. Um, but it's nice if you live in the area that you don't have to do them all in one night. Um, so I want to get a t-shirt because I really like this place and the t-shirts were only $10, which again is an amazing price. Um, but by the time everything was finished, the shop was closed, which was a disappointment. Um, I really didn't feel like carrying around my purchases. Um, first off, we started with the Hayride, and the Hayride was amazing. Uh, the animatronics were great and really different than anything I've seen on other haunted Hayrides with animatronics. Um, I love that the hayride didn't really slow down. A lot of these hayrides, they slow down and then you know something or someone is going to come. Um, but this one just kept going. It did stop about two or three times for certain you know, sets and stuff. But for the majority of it, it just kept going, which was really, really nice. Um, uh, I'm just looking at my notes. So all the walkthroughs were really good as well. I liked that they didn't have a ton of actors because sometimes it can kind of get old and I don't know, there's, some of them don't just, you know, don't put everything into it and it kind of sucks sometimes. Um, but I love the props, I love the animatronics, etc. Um, if you had to skip one of the walkthroughs or the hayride, um, I would skip the zombie prison, which was the last thing we did. It was very short not much going on and overall kind of a waste um, but that's the only one I would say that about all the rest were really really good um, and like I said you will be there a long time unless you happen to come on a time or day where no one is there which seems not possible <laughs> but um, you will be there a long time again I got there at 9 30 and left at 1 30 a.m. Um, but I would say just come early and enjoy it. They have a lot of photo prop opportunities. They have rides. Did want to go on some rides. It is included in the ticket price um, with the unlimited rides. Um, again, the rides were closed by the time I finished everything. So that was kind of disappointing. But um, I highly, highly, highly recommend this place. It was, it was really fun. Good stuff, good value. Um, the staff was really, really nice. And uh, I would say uh, come check it out.